Hi, I'm Melissa Colgan with Minneapolis St. Paul Magazine and Style Parlor TV here with Laura Shira. So let's talk a little bit about trend. Uh, right here behind us we have Sport, Sport Max. Sport Max. The big trends that I was seeing for fall was the kind of the ladylike look. Mm -hmm. And this blouse does a great job of um, looking both ladylike but also architectural at the same time. Sport Max is an excellent example of that. They have a lot of lace, they have a lot of ruffles in their collection. This Celine outfit in particular <clears throat> is one of my favorites because it has the motorcycle jacket. And again, the motorcycle jacket was a really hot item in the 80s, right. and it, you can see how it's new and different for 2008. And I think what's nice about this, what seems really different um, and more modern, is that you're pairing it with something really soft and voluminous, and so it's kind of that nice mix of um, hard and soft. Now, how do you wear something like this? Because this is really going to take over a look. You want to make sure that you're pairing it back to something that doesn't have volume at all. So you can see with both of these looks, they have it paired here with just a pretty simple sheath dress. This is actually much more fitted than it's appearing on the hanger. And for the Celine, um, they have it over an evening gown, and this is very tight to the body. Soft patterns and even floral inspired patterns are, are important for fall. They're very important for spring, and they're continuing to be important for fall, but they're almost, you can see, in this washed out pattern. Right. So it's not quite defined floral, it's, it's almost watercolor. So, Laura, this is another big trend that we are seeing for fall, um, big statement necklaces. It's very organic. Mm -hmm. That's what uh, Ports 1961 is known for, is that they use natural materials with a lot of their handbags and other accessories, including necklaces, and this is all hand-carved wood. Uh, the Members Only jacket, of course, was made famous in the 80s and it's, it's coming back in about every color of the rainbow, but not quite so literal. It's, it's been transformed. You can see this one is in a patent fabrication, so it's not quite the members-only jacket you remember. It doesn't have the snap here, but right. it is inspired from that. Well, Donna Karen Collection is known for making clothing for women's bodies in shape and showing the shapes. So here we have a full skirt. She's pairing it back to a fitted blazer, and um, this actually fits quite snug which is a unique way to wear the full skirt. You know, when you have that much volume um, on the lower half of the body, you do want to make sure that you have something that's fitted on top. Color's huge this season, but if bright purple and bright oranges aren't your thing, mm -hmm. uh, the Donna Karen collection provides a lot of opportunities to wear, um, you know, like this mossy green or a great you know, dark uh, Cabernet color. There's a bold printed hosiery that goes with this line. And that's an important trend for fall season is, is not only bold color hosiery, but bold <coughs> printed hosiery. So, and that was another thing that was really important in the 80s. So you're seeing those little things come back. Right. Here's the uh, women, this is a women's blazer. So the oversized blazer, it's in a bold plaid pattern. And this is paired back to a mini dress. Wow. And a different plaid fabrication. We talked about how the motorcycle jacket was important. You can see this one um, is in Cavalli style. It has a um, lacquered, um, faux animal skin here to it. Here's a cocoon coat, very important coat for fall season. Um, a lot of volume compared to the trench coats we'd seen in the past, but um, in this pastel egg blue. I wish you guys could see this in person because, and feel it in person, because it just feels so luxurious. Even the pockets are velvet. That's how much thought goes into some of these collections.